In this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips and uh, advice on how to align your laser cutter downward from the third mirror, the one that, which is angled 45 degrees from the bed, uh, down through the lens, which on this machine is situated just below this ring on the lens assembly, and down onto your workpiece. It's important to make sure that the overall alignment of your machine is good and that your laser beam is hitting centrally here at all points on the bed before attempting to adjust the alignment of this mirror downwards through the lens. First thing to do is to make sure that your laser cutter work bed and the workpiece that you're going to be shooting into is at the focal height determined by your lens. In this machine that's 50.8 millimeters uh, below the lens uh, which is the lens is about here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to test fire the laser beam. Um, let's see that again. And then I'm going to lower the work table down about 50 millimeters. Um, we can see the small black dot here of the beam hitting the tape at its focal point. And if I fire the laser beam again below its focal point, we'll get a much larger dot. Now, because the small dot is exactly inside the larger dot, I know that this beam is pretty straight across that 50 millimeter distance. If I drop the bed even further and then test fire the beam again, we'll see the large dot encircling the two smaller dots and again we know that this beam is pretty straight. If we see this larger dot traveling off to the left or right then we know that the alignment down from the third mirror is probably off. A good test to see if your laser beam is hitting this cone as it travels out of the hole here at the bottom is simply to remove the cone, get it out of the way, and then test fire the laser beam with the cone absent. And what you should be seeing is a, a good round mark being made on your test material. If I now put some masking tape over that mark, and then I'm going to, on purpose, set the nozzle of my machine a little bit skewed. If I now test fire, you see I'm getting a much smaller mark. This is because the beam is hitting the cone here on the way out because I haven't replaced the head nice and flat to the lens housing. If I now do the same thing, and again I'm going to cover that with a piece of masking tape so you can see the difference, and fire. You see I get a nice round spot. A few methods for fine tuning the alignment of the final mirror uh, that I've heard of is if it is hitting the cone um, you can feel the cone and see if there's a warm side. So if it's warm towards the back of the machine, then you know that the laser beam is aligned with it's skewed towards the back of the machine and so on. One method which you should only ever do whilst wearing safety goggles, uh, with the air assistance off, place a piece of masking tape over the nozzle part of your machine and then you can test fire the laser beam and then using a mirror, slide the mirror in underneath and you can see quite clearly where the laser's passing through the nozzle with the mark that it's left on the mirror because the danger of this is that if you leave the mirror in there and fire it 
you're going to get some reflection of your laser beam where you don't want it. 